Hey, this is Mick. <clears throat> this is just to show how to do a how I did my um, uh, lithophanes in a spire. Um, so I've just started a new project, five inches by five inches by two point five thick. Z zero on the bottom. Resolution is high. Click OK. Next, I drew a square, um, x0, y0 in the center, the ang and then I drew a square, 5 by 5, and that puts uh, a border around my material. I select the border, I go to uh, offset, selected vectors, and I'm just going to go off an inch inwards. Then what I did next is I go up to File, Import, Import Bitmap. I'm going to go to, uh, I don't know whether you're going to see this very good. I'm going to go to Import um, Pictures. I'm going to go to Hong Kong 2012. Um, Sherry and Michael. Um, this doesn't really matter which one I pick. I'm just trying to pick it for the. Just so you can see what I'm doing. So I got one here of like of a Buddha. Let's give it a time to load. It's a pretty big picture. So what I found was if I just leave it the way it is, I just position it down to the center, make sure I'm still in within, within my line. So that's good. I go to the modeling tab create a component from selected bitmap so there we go you probably don't really see it very good here but then I select the component and I select the component I select my line and then I go over here trim outside so that's trimmed it I can also delete the uh, the the picture itself so I just leave my uh, this one here actually I can just delete my picture since I don't need that anymore. So the picture's gone. I go over to uh, Toolpath, my material. And what's really important is if you go gap under the material, it should be point zero three zero then click OK now what I do is I select my outside line of my um, oh actually I forgot something what I gotta do is go back is double click on my uh, component I got to reverse it so it's reversed now Okay, I go down to close. I go across to the toolpath tab. I've selected my line around the perimeter. And I'm going to go uh, to finishing toolpath. Okay, I still got to select my. There we go. That you must have a gap of point 
zero three zero below. Okay, I have a one sixteenth ball nose. I want to go at forty five degrees. Um, let me check my my speeds and feeds. My speed is sixteen thousand. My feed rate is one seventy five. What I learned was if I put my plunge rate at the same as my feed rate, then I get less shock, less jittery on my machine. So my feed rate is 175, my plunge rate is 175. I have tool one, but that's fine. And I say calculate. see how this goes I'm working off my laptop so it's not really that fast and I'm just using the webcam pointing at the screen so the quality is not going to be so good. Preview. Then just like normal, you say close. I go down to. Uh, to say I can see what my estimated time is just 21 minutes it's just an estimate close save toolpath as select my toolpath uh, I have a cam master ATC and the rest is the standard okay hope this helps thanks bye